Hello guys, it's Tansifka and in today's video we're gonna take a closer look on Freeze Mage. It's very very popular and well known deck, but with Journey to Angora we needed to justify the deck a little bit metagame. We lost some cards like Mad Scientist, but we got a pretty pretty new tools and the deck is very good on ladder. So the first card I'm gonna talk about is Archaeologist, which is basically the new med scientist. It gives you the secret. Then there's the standard stuff: Nova, Doomsayer, Blizzard, Flame Strike. We have these cards forever, and that's the way how you control the board. The new addition is Medivh's Void, which is incredibly powerful card because for two mana you get two free body, which would be almost good enough, but a secret to deal free damage so with ice block which stacks forever you can just shoot free damage for two mana anytime and it's incredibly powerful and primal deal grief is another search of, search, uh, source of damage so you lost the ice lands so you don't have otk kill but uh, you have enough damage in the deck in general so that's how you beat many control decks and also provides tempo because if you play Glyph at turn 2 you have access to turn 5 Flame Strike or you can just cheat the more expensive spells um, before you can play it normally. Uh, the cards I want to talk about is Antonidas because most of the players uh, use Pyroblast at the moment but I believe Antonidas is also very nice choice because against control decks you can get gather a lot of value, you can get like four fireballs very often, especially with Cleef you can just get a card which is discounted for two and then you just develop Antonidas and play this card for free so you get another fireball so you get a lot of value. Obviously in some tempo matchups like if the against quest stroke the fireballs is slightly, would be slightly better but in general I really like Antonidas and it, you can be sure that you will have enough damage in the deck with Antonidas. Um, under the card which we could run are Eater of Secrets, Volcanic Potion, but uh, I, I really prefer this version because it has a lot of card draw, it's very stable with double ace barrier, it's very nice against all aggressive decks. So that was the theory and now let's play the game. So, freeze mage. Takes a while when you find an opponent on the legend level. But, uh, okay, so who are we playing against? Face Rogue, which is one of the better matchups. As a mage, as a freeze mage, you don't want to see. J Druid, you don't want to see Priest or in general controls with a lot of, lot of heal. But you don't mind playing against aggressive decks and you also don't mind playing against Rogue because they ha don't have access to any heal. So if you just survive long enough, you always burn him out. But sometimes the quest Rogue uh, finishes the quest very early and then you could be in trouble. So in Mulligan, you're basically looking for more card draw and the Glyph. Against also, Archaeologist is a very, very strong card, which is like something completely different than in the most of matchups because against aggressive decks you are looking for Doomsayer, Frostbolt, and Frost Nova, while here you really is just looking for card draw. This is not a great hand, obviously. Antonidas is very, very slow in this matchup and it's close to that card. But on the other hand, like the matchup is good and it's also a little bit more about Rogue's draw than the Mage's draw. So the way how the matchup works, most of the time just cross your fingers and hope he doesn't have a nuts and then you should be fine. Okay. So this is pretty standard stuff. For Rogue, it's all about like for him completing the quest. 
because without it he's not able to win the game. So the best way for him to do it with, is with the elemental, two free Ignatius elemental which gives the fire uh, fire elementals to hand and then he just complete the quest. But sometimes it's kind of difficult for him to get rid out of it because it's too free and you obviously not kill it and we just take a couple of damage. And we obviously develop Acolyte over Iceball because we want to draw more cards. We don't need to get a survive mecha mechanism yet and we just dig for more burn. Because it's still a lo long journey to burn the rock out. There's a Firefly and there's probably going to be the Bounce, yeah. yeah. Okay, so now we have option we can fireball the free two, or we can trade and ping the free one away, or we can just ping and have another card. And it's pretty pretty close decision. Like all these three options are possible. I kind of feel I want a card draw. Like I have ways how to deal with the big board, like with Blizzard Flame Strike. So if he is gonna have extra minion. It wouldn't be that super painful, and I really need an additional card, so just pink my client. And I was a little bit lucky, so I can develop the drop now. I got another ice block, which is probably better than Iceberry at the moment. Because sometimes, like, Rogue creates this super big board with 7 5 power minions, and then uh, gaining 8 armor is not that crucial, while having ice block is basically another turn for you. Where you can top deck a burn or just burn it up and down. Okay, so, so he's at two quests and he has far flying hand, so they've got three, so he needs one more bounce. And he has a backstep as well, yeah, so he can clear. He has a coin. So in case he has shadow step, he can play far, uh, far fly, bounce it, play it for zero, and then point out the crystal core and then I would take 15 damage which would be pretty bad for me. That's how why we said that uh, it's more about the rogue draw. Like now if it's shadow step I probably will be in trouble. But if he is not gonna complete the quest now I will get some time. I already have 15 damage in hand so I'm missing 11. Which it's quite a lot, but it's not as much as you would think. Because I, I can buy a lot of time by freezing the board and then playing under the ice block. Like in this matchup, it's very crucial. If you have Pyroblast instead of Antonidas, it's so much better. For example, now it could be very easily the uh, game different, game changing if I would have Pyroblast or Antonidas. But in many matchups, the uh, Antonidas is better on the other hand. So we'll see how it goes. Firefly. So now it would be bad if he has preparation because I would immediately take 10 damage. And also this board would, would be pretty pretty big. Okay. And still coin prep and crystal core, but he doesn't have it, which is great for me. Okay, so now I can either clear the board or just freeze it. Sometimes it's very good to just freeze the board because if his board is full, he cannot play more charge minions to deal face damage with Stone Tusk Boar or with patches with Deck Hand. Well, here I still like clearing the board because it's not that obvious that he, he has like so much resources to just redevelop it next turn. He will probably just develop two minions and Crystal Core. Because if he develops a lot of minions, I can kill them with flame strike because they're still gonna be too small. So I choose to play Blizzard here over Frost Nova. Seven. That's crystal car. That's fine on go. Well, it's just only 10 damage, so 
I got Alexstrasza. So if I will survive till 10 Alexstrasza with still Ice Block, I can Alexstrasza and then I have 15 damage in hand. So, like uh, freezing the board here is not that great, despite I would gain 10, 10, 10 life because he didn't deliver 10 face damage. You can just simply develop 35 damage on the board and Iceberg I have only 34 so he can proc me and then I wouldn't have time to play Alexstrasza. So I just play Ice Barrier. I obviously don't want to play Fireball here because the Alexstrasza puts him at 15 so then I would like the damage. Like Alistar was actually a pretty, pretty good to draw because otherwise I would probably just play the fireball and it would be yeah, quite painful. Um, so the plan for next turn is to play Frost Nova and I hope I will not get proc. If I will get proc I will probably lose the game, but I don't think it's that likely. Alright, well that's quite unusual card. It's good, very good versus control decks, but it's not that great versus aggressive decks like uh, Agro Druid because then the rogue just fills the hand with the resources. So, but against aggro decks, it's very very nice too. Mm -hmm. So, now I will to freeze the board. And since I have 15 already in my hand, I can just develop some minions to just stretch a little bit. Uh, and also, like, if my opponent proc me now somehow, which shouldn't happen, but theoretically it could happen. Then I will probably need to play a second ice block and try to just burn him without Alexstrasza, which will be very difficult then. Okay, so that's second Oracle, or it's still, it's still the first one, but I guess how the game will go, I just Alexstrasza now. And unless he has the draw of secrets, I will win. To burn. Okay, so if I Alexstrasza here, I can put him at 13. The way how, uh, how I can lose is if he forces me to draw 8 cards and proc me at 1. And he would need to bounce Oracle and play it 4 times and also proc me at 1, which is kind of difficult. Because he has the 5 that minions and if he proc me at 3... Then he would need to let me draw 10 cards, which is 5, playing this card 5 times, which is kind of unrealistic. So, do I have any other option? I have 17 damage and I'm missing 6, so I'm still missing 3 and hoping that I get lucky but from Wallet and Cliff is not that reasonable. So I just play Alexstrasza here. And like it, this should be enough unless he runs Inter of Secrets, which is not that popular. making his hand and tear to draw, draw more cards. But now I should be fine, like there, there was no Eater of Secrets and he shouldn't be able to draw. Let me draw 
and cars and everything else that it will work. Eventually, you could have Fish Bugger and found something like Counter Spell. Uh, but even then, I should be fine. So. That's how the matchup should look if you are doing well. So, yeah, now we have 15 damage, which is lethal, and that's the game. So, we could go in, put ourselves probably into top 100 legend, which is the place we would like to be, and yeah, I hope you like the game, and see you in the next video.